Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your ongoing support. It re Reading in this on this platform brings true joy to my life. I couldn't do it without you and I thank you. So we will continue to continue and if you're new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if the reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. You could check other parts of your chart. Now, Friday's readings are always a general reading. Monday's readings are different every week. There's a more detailed Celtic cross reading on Mondays, a love reading. I'll do like a pick a card reading some weeks, uh, different kinds of oracle readings. So all kinds of variety here. And I would remind you too, tarot is sacred divination. So readings are timeless. If a reading speaks to you, I'd say watch it. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Capricorn need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Capricorn? All right, so we're, we're going to begin here with the tarot reading, and then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle card reading, too. All right, you got the Three of Swords here, the Ace of Wands. Well, endings bring new beginnings. Four of Wands, Hierophant, Six of Cups, Strength, Page of Swords, and King of Cups. Beautiful reading. Well, you've got Taurus here. You've got Leo here, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. You've got Water and Air here, too. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I Right from the start, it's like as soon as I said endings being, bring new beginnings and then we had this. I mean, my gosh, talk about talk about a beautiful beginning or something to do, you know, with love and relationships. Something here that really grows. This is a, a, the kind of energy you want to get in your reading, okay? So there's definitely something new here, but it's a commitment that lasts. It's a wonderful partner if you're in a relationship or bringing in something new. But that Three of Swords had to kick things off, didn't it? Now, the Three of Swords um, it has a few different meanings. The main the main thing that I got from it first is, is healing from some heartache, accepting it. Accepting disappointment is kind of part of the path of manifesting. We can get off. Our point of attraction can get we get busy, we get harried with life, and all of a sudden we're in a place where we don't even realize we're manifesting things we don't want until they start showing up. And people will say, why do bad things happen in threes? God, I'm due for something good. It's because we refocus our attention. We get our point of attraction on what we want. And that's how we start to bring about better changes. Now, I do get this for somebody. If you're planning a wedding, I feel like somebody's really considering the weather here because this can also indicate weather and there's something about that. And again, I know that's for probably a very small sect of people, but it has to do with this. There's already something in the works here. Um, so the Ace of Wands is, Aces are all about beginnings and initiation. And this is something though, I feel like it has the energy and the fuel to run the distance. It's not something that peters out. It's something you've always wanted. So in a relationship, it's definitely goals. In work-related stuff, though, too, I do feel like you may have had a, a bit of a, a, a weight or having to put a lot of energy into something, and it's like, here it is. Now, you do have energy from the past, um, and this can be an apology. So if you've had a problem with somebody in the past, and that's what the Three of Swords is, this is an apology that comes forward. It's at Olive Branch, and I feel like they do want to meet you in the middle if there's been something that you just have disagreed over and you just can't get right with each other. I feel like they're willing to compromise. And that's, you know, we say that's when both sides leave something on the table. It's not a complete, it's not completely acquiescing, but it's saying, hey, let's just move forward. And yeah, I've got a part in this too. Let's just go forward. And so with the four of wands here, this is definitely a card of manifesting. We love this card because it is the 1111 card. So some of you Maybe seeing synchronicities and things like that. That's how the universe communicates with you. Can, the universe can't speak or that would be terrifying, right? If we just suddenly were hearing voices all over. 
but the universe will communicate with you on the level that you can receive it. So some of you have things like clairaudience and clairvoyance. You may you may even have it and not realize that's what it is, and you you could be calling it something else, but it really is a thing. Others of you, though, it may be all those things like you're you know you find money here and there, or you get you think about manifesting something and then it comes and you go, oh my God, that's not a coincidence. I did that. You did do that. You are the cause. Everything around you is the effect. And so with this, it is a card of a commitment, a relationship. It's moving forward, though, in great celebration. This is a wonderful, you know, they walk through this arch, this 1111 arch, these pillars of love and freedom and wish fulfillment. It's walking right into that next chapter that brings dreams coming true, really bringing wish fulfillment. So we love the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a, a card of intuition, okay? He's very deeply spiritual. It is an energy, too, though, of your higher self. And your higher self will always lead you to a moral high ground, not in a not in a haughty way, not in a uh, arrogant way, but it will put you in a place where you will be at your best and highest good. That's what the Hierophant brings in. And so for some of you, it's like this inner knowing or secret force that you're calling forth. But in, inside of the reading, as you look at the cards, there's a devotion here. Somebody's very devoted to you. I also feel like you're very committed to, in terms of um, success at a job, you're very committed to something. If you're doing some kind of business or something that, there's something new here. Um, and if it's a new job for you, I do see it going into a long-term situation that brings success. And if you're starting something new with some kind of training or certification or college, because this can be higher education, that's also something that's going to bring in long-term success. So the Hierophant holds up his hand and says, be still and know. Be still and know that the universe wants to communicate with you. The universe wants to bring in your heart's desires. It's the mind that talks us out of us, out of it. It's nothing about the energy. It's just that small mind, right? So... With the Six of Cups, I mentioned this can be a card of the past coming back, but it's definitely a happy energy. It's not certainly bleak. It is a card of bringing in balance, though. So in, a, in terms of a partnership, there's reciprocity here, but there may be some differences between you, whether it's distance or your work schedules or something like that. But I do feel like you have a partner who really wants to compensate for that, who wants to make things um you know, it, it move along smoothly, who who looks for opportunities, they say, look, looking for opportunities, they keep saying. And so whatever that means, but I mentioned before too, you may have somebody from the past who wants to make an apology. They may extend an olive branch in some other way. Maybe it's a recipe if it's a family member or something like that, where they kind of bring in something that they know will be sentimental. There's something about bringing in something sentimental to try to kind of win you over. So whoever that is for, I do see you getting back into a better place with that person. Now, strength is a card of overcoming difficulties, obstacles, but it's also you having power in a situation, you kind of finessing things. So especially if you are planning something like those of you that are planning some kind of a wedding or you have a relationship that moves forward, I do see you having a nice ability to compromise with this person like we talked about and it's not feeling defeated or like you're giving something up it really does feel like it's investing in the relationship so with this it's um the right direction of force okay and it is an energy too of using compassion leading in a heart-centered way and from that you're going to bring in love you're going to bring in uh, that energy all around you where it brings in people who are positive, understanding, loving, tolerant, kind. Loving, tolerant, kind is what they keep saying. So that may be you. It may be also, like I said, you're attracting people who are in kind the same way. So with the Page of Swords here, this Page of Swords it wants adventure. Pages are, they're an energy that brings in curiosity and, and optimism, although this one does tend to be a little bit more protective. He also searches for the truth. So again, there may be something if you're planning something where you're doing research and making sure that you get everything in writing and things like that, any kind of changes that you're making, I feel like you're going to want things in writing. But with this page of swords, it also too may be the next leg of a journey here a new adventure that comes in. You might have a little bit of fear about it if it's a new job because you definitely have new stuff with work. 
but I do feel like you're ready for a change. It's being ready for a change and you've called it forward, so you might as well go with it. Now, with the King of Cups, this is a very mature energy. We like this in love a lot. The King of Cups, now the Cups are all about love, but they're also about living a good life. And especially the King brings in the purest and highest um, energy of the element. So with the King of Cups, it is an energy too where you may find you uh, are maybe a little more emotional, but it's like passionate. It's not a dysregulation. It's like you feel really strongly about things. It may also be the person you're you're committing to or connecting with that they just have convictions about things and not in a rigid way though. I just feel like they know who they are. This is a card too of self-development. So again, with the Hierophant, anything you're doing, if it's higher education, certifications, or even spiritual, I get life coach. Somebody just said life coach. If you're becoming some kind of a coach, in that regard, it really is going to be like a springboard and usher you forward into a new chapter that you're going to be in love with. They've got very positive energy here, Capricorn. So let's see here what the angels have to say for, whoa, Capricorn, please. All right, and a timeline. All right, you've got, it's up to you. Okay, so of course, you, the, your environment is a product of you. You're not a product of your environment. So you get what you are. Everything around you is a match. They say the situation will improve. I actually like that as we start off with that Three of Swords. I'd agree that the tarot has given you a very beautiful message here. You've got romance and there, you've definitely got a wonderful partnership here. So again, I'd, either you're going to meet somebody soon or if you're in something, you've definitely got um, something that grows and is beautiful within the next few months, they say. You've got Don't Stop. So you are on the right track. Capricorn, I love you, and I'll be back again soon.